Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed to South Africa for the Vet Cook and Curry Mince. Uh, it's basically a bun and filling and it looks like it's going to be delicious. Uh, but the first thing I got to do is make the bun. And to do that I have to start yesterday. So, um, hey Barry from the past. Um, yeah, hang on a sec. What? Yeah, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you start the dough for the uh, Vet Cook that I'm going to use today? But I... Okay. All right. No, I gotta go. I gotta go. He wants me to start a dough today. <laughs> Absolutely. I know, right? All right. Prima Donna. What's that? Nothing. All right. To make the vet cook is pretty straightforward. It's basically flour, yeast, sugar, salt, then uh, slowly add in lukewarm water. Now we take our shaggy dough and put it onto a floured surface and just sort of work it together. Not really kneading it. Just sort of getting it formed into a cohesive unit. Then into a bowl and cover with plastic wrap and let it proof in the fridge overnight. Okay, it's the next day and first thing we have to do is brown off some ground beef. Now we saute some onions until they're soft. So now we add in minced garlic, ginger powder, smoked paprika, coriander, cumin, and curry powder. Get that mixed together and cook that for about five minutes. And I almost forgot, black pepper. And tomato paste. Now we add in chutney and water. Tape up all the bits. Get the flavor. So I'm doing a half recipe. The original calls for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna check this at 15 minutes. And yeah, I am using Mrs. H. Ball's original recipe chutney from South Africa. Okay, I had to add a little bit more water because now we stir in diced potatoes and peas and carrots. And again, the recipe, full recipe, cooks for another 30 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna check it after 15, but it might be 30 minutes, who knows? And that's the curry mince filling. Now we're supposed to roll them up into round balls, kind of the size of tennis balls. And now we flatten them out. Now we fry them. Now onto a wire rack to dry and cool. All right, now we take our curry mince and we uh, just load it in. Now if I were doing this, I'd have uh, taken some of the bread out of the middle, but that's just me. I didn't say to do that, so I'm not doing it. But I am loading it up. Oh yeah. Okay, let's give this vet cook with curry mince a go. The bread is a little bit sweet, nice and chewy goes really well with the curry mince with its little bit sweetness from the uh, chutney, a little bit of uh, tomato weakness from the paste, and all those uh, seasonings. Ah, uh, that is tasty. Definitely a hearty sandwich. That said, I do want to plus it up with two things. I want to add an over easy egg. Mm-hmm. I have this green chutney that I made over on Barry is cooking again. It's got mint, cilantro, peanuts, fennel seed, uh, lime, ginger. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be really bright and go really well with everything in here. Okay, let's give this vet cook with curried mince, plussed up with an over easy egg and green chutney. We go. <clears throat> so the egg yolk's bringing a little bit of richness to the party. And of course the uh, green chutney is bringing this spicy, because it does have serrano pepper in there, I forgot to mention that. Bright, complex, because of the fennel seed. And that goes really well with the curry mince. This is delicious. This is definitely a gut bomb though. <laughs> so here's the thing about vet cook. Um, it is a bun and you can fill it with a bunch of stuff. This recipe just happened to call for uh, curried mince. Um, I did a recipe from Daryl'sKitchen.com. Daryl lives in South Africa, is from South Africa. So this is his recipe. And I thought that was uh, delicious. I think I'm gonna give that a nine. Uh, plus up with the over easy egg and the green chutney. Uh, that's, that's a 10 to me. That's all those flavors work really well with the uh, curried mince. Uh, work really well with the bread. And, and that chutney recipe I got from uh, milkandcardamom.com if you want to check that out. And you can also go to Barry's Cooking again, my cooking channel on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok uh, where I make it. It's quite simple and quite delicious, and quite complex. All right, I'm going to finish that and take a big old nap. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.